Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here, it is Amanda Christina and I would like to welcome you to what was going to be Craftmas in July but is now Ampered Up August, uh, which is a Christmas collab featuring myself and several other Aussie crafters. I am so excited to, um, you'll see the list of Ampered Up Aussie ladies below. They are all amazing in their own right. I'm so excited that they said yes to doing this collab. There is myself, my sister, um, Arty Crafty Alchemy. There is Alexis and Melinda's art space. Uh, Ginny from Blue Raven Art and Crafts. There is Crafty Kylie. Uh, Fiona Jane. Joanne Lee and Wendy Mason. So that is, oh, I'm so excited that they all suggest that they're all excited about doing this every Saturday between uh, lunchtime and 2 p.m. Australian time. They will be, we'll all be posting a project. Uh, each week has a theme of sorts. So there's, there's all different sorts of things from cards and tags to gift tags to small gifts and just some embellishments. So we kind of mixed it up. There's not an overall, the overall theme, of course, is Christmas, but there isn't a design type or one thing you had to do. You just had to run with it however you wanted to. Um, this is what I have all my Christmas paper in this box. I need to get some more of these 12 by 12 boxes, but this is my Christmas paper stash. I threw in some dies um, to play with. I have the Graphic 45, which I have been, admit to having been hoarding, uh, Nutcracker Suite. I have this um, Paper Mania signature. Um, it's meant to be like a linen paper. This Kaiser St. Nicholas, which is on my to finish off list. Um, there's just various bits of off cuts here. I think I must have kept that paper bag because I thought that was really cute. It was a pharmacy bag I got. Um, we have some Bow Bunny, I think some old Christmas cards that I did from some time ago, uh, some Forever Friends and I think Me To You and I am positive this came off the magazine and I probably bought the magazine for that reason. Pretty sure that's a Bow Bunny. There's more, um, I don't, uh, Photo Play. Uh, we have these two pads which I bought last year which I have not even cut into yet which is Letters to Santa and Christmas Edition because I fell in love with both of those ranges. At the moment this year, my 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 range that I'm jonesing for is the Santa Baby because it is pastel pink and so pretty. So then we have this old Lost Christmas Lost and Found, which I think, who is this by? My mind's eye. Then we have some... Christmas glassine, which I got cheap off, oops, got to be careful of the camera cords, which I got cheap off Blitzy, a really cute uh, sugar and spice pad, the, this Kayser Deluxe Christmas with the foils, which I love. Um, this is another Kayser range that came out a couple of years ago. I can't remember what it's called. And I believe, yep, that's the end of my box. Um, as you can see, I have a fair bit, but not an overwhelming amount in the 12x12. 12 12. I tend to stick to buying a lot of 6x6 six six when it comes to Christmas, all the smaller pads. Um, because I use them more, I find 12x12 12 12 is the, like, I've been buying a little bit more in 12x12, 12 12, but that's just because that's what I've been finding. I do tend to go for the smaller pads because I find often with your bigger pieces, you cut them up. So that's my paper stash. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're going to have paper stash envy over that or not, but that is my paper stash. Which I can't get back into the box properly, of course, which is why I wasn't going to pull it all out. But I did. Okay. So we have this. Let me just move that to one side. Now... I think I have another one of these folders somewhere, but this is my Christmas folder and I have um, stickers from Canco, um, stuff from K 
Kayser, just a whole range of um, the letters, random stickers. These were Coles ones. Um, Kayser ephemera, some really cute little stickers, some pockets, which I keep forgetting I've got. Um, because there are some things like Tim Holtz that doesn't belong in here. Some just random Christmas bits. Um, that's the, oh, here we go. Christmas Wishes is that paper pad because that's the collection that goes with it. Some off cuts of paper. We have the two sets that go with those two paper pads I've yet to really use. Some buttons and foil and just random, randomy bits and pieces really, um, which is what this folder is about. So that's a folder full of goodies. And then I also have... And I mean, there's probably more stuff stashed around my house because I know I need another one of these boxes. This is my Christmas box. And this is just bits and pieces that I've had left over or like this list pad, for example. Santa is coming to... I wish I had more of these beautiful vintage angely things. This is, I think, an album that I started to do and it didn't turn out so I kind of ripped the gusset out so I may have a go at finishing that at some point. Um, some embellishments I made but never sent so I may end up popping those with the embellishments I made the other day. Um, as a little thank you we'll see there's like there, there's Tim Holt stuff hidden here. Um, there's leaf garland. There's some really nice um, paper bags. Things that I picked up when they were on special or clearance, a lot of them. Um, embellishments that I've made. Bits that have come off things. These ornaments, I really need to stockpile a few of these ornaments. I want to do some for my Etsy maybe. Some Doctor Who themed ones. <gasps> Oh, I forgot I had this. Look at the pastel. Um, they'll make, oh, shaker bits. There's wreaths, there's trees, and there's little stars, and they're all in pastel. Oh, I completely forgot I had that. I'm hoping I have two bags of that because I like that. Um, so that's, that is my kind of little collection here. I'll just put the album cover down to give you something to look at. And I hope you will join us. This is my first collab as a crafter. It is my first Australian only collab. And I didn't do this to leave out my overseas people. I did this because I noticed that Australians don't really have a lot of collabs. I'm so sorry that just with everything that's gone on, I didn't get to invite more Aussie crafters through a video or anything. I really hope that you'll forgive me for that. Hopefully the next time we do a collab, it will be sort of more and that I didn't get to do the uh, advent swap but I will make sure I do a video on that soon so everybody can be ready for the advent swap for December well mid-November so that it can arrive on time anyway I'm gonna stop rambling please do check out the other lovely amazing people in this collab remember that they are doing this because I asked them to make sure you show them lots of love and make sure you subscribe to them as well so you don't miss any of our videos in the upcoming month uh there will be four four videos over August every Saturday uploaded between 12 p.m and 2 p.m and so that's a really nice thing grab a cup of tea grab a snack and sit down and watch some vids on a Saturday afternoon and yeah, <laughs> so I hope you'll join us for Amp It Up August and my Amp It Up Aussies. I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils, and remember, as always, you are incredible, you are amazing, and yes, you truly do matter. Bye, all!